Well, the storm will be great for people who are snow lovers, but the storm could make travel difficult in the area. Our Josh Peterson shows us how state and city street departments are preparing for this winter blast. Whether it's city streets, county roads, or state highways, it's a united front when it comes to clearing what Mother Nature leaves behind. With significant snow in the forecast, plow drivers are ready and have been preparing for what lies ahead. I've been putting the guys on notice that we'll be adding hours and probably go into Saturday morning to get the rest of the, uh, um, if the amounts that they're saying, get the rest of that cleaned up. Over at MnDOT's Northwest office, the snow plows have already been out on the road and will be around the clock as the storm moves into the area. Well, the guys were getting their trucks ready today. We have another crew just starting here at 2 o'clock and they will be pre-treating tonight and as the event comes, they will be on the road till probably midnight and we'll have another shift starting at 3 a.m. Over the next few days, these trucks will be out non-stop, keeping the roadways clear. And if you encounter a plow while traveling, it's important to stay back. Please remember to give the plow plenty of room. Um, we cannot always see you. There's a lot of things we have to watch for. Stay back, give them room to work, and do not pass the plow. We've had a few people lately that have been passing on the right side, which is even worse than regular passing. A unique aspect about this storm is that it falls between two major holidays, meaning fewer people are expected to be out on the roads traveling making it easier for the plows to do their job in a timely manner. People just need to remember to drive the conditions. Anything below zero uh, is going to get slippery. With snow already falling in parts of the area, the engines are already running, and the drivers are ready to face another Minnesota winter head on. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For current road conditions and access to snowplow cameras, we posted a link on our website, lptv.org news.